Baby boy, hello. How are you, Sir Richard? How are you, little man? Oh, are you just being cute today? Are you just being a sweet boy so far today? Oh, yes. You're so good. Hi, baby boy. Let's go to work, dude. Oh, Shivi. I wish I could bring you, but you're just too big, sweetheart. You're too big. Oh, are you kissing your big sister? Oh, you're such a good... I finally put some lettering on my boat, put the shop's name on there. Deerfield Beach, Florida. Of course, because that's where we are. And then the most important part, guys, the whiz. There we go, use this. So check that out. I finally named my boat the whiz. To my buddy Travis. We called him the wizard, the whiz. That was his nickname forever. I tattooed a huge wizard on his back, my buddy that just passed away last month. So I figured, why not name my boat after him? He helped me with the whole thing. Like, he built, he put my lights on, my electronics on. He did a lot of stuff for me for that boat. His brother's going to continue. Quality T-tops. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to Travis. Love you, bro. I miss you. That one's for you. Very busy before I leave for Cozumel. We leave for Cozumel on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. I have a huge tattoo today, a huge tattoo tomorrow. Friday, I'm supposed to be tattooing my buddy Tom before I go out of town. And Saturday, I have a gigantic tattoo to do as well. So, I got my work cut out. I haven't had a whole lot of time to, I uh, was gonna film with Alex this morning and do some snake stuff. I felt like I was like, you know what? I got a tattoo today. Let's make a shop video because today's tattoo is gonna be pretty epic. So another reason why I'm being pretty picky about what we take on next year as far as tattoo goes, because I only really want to do pieces that I'm super proud of, that are big, all day sessions, things that I can make YouTube videos on that people are going to enjoy looking at, you know what I mean? Unless I'm super into it, I don't really feel like giving it my energy, because what's the point? What's the point of going to someone for a surface? That's not really what they like to do, you know what I mean? So when you're picking your tattoo, you want to go to a tattooer that specializes in whatever you want to get or whatever style it is that you get. That is very important when you're picking out tattoos. So I am trying to stick to just my neo-traditional high color style, mainly animals, girl faces, floral stuff. I do a lot of black and gray also. My style though, like how Jake's arm is. I know you guys, I'm sure you guys have seen Jake's sleeve. He's got that black and gray snake with the peony on his elbow. It's got that little collaboration that I did with my brother, the stippling on the side. Uh, and Chase is doing the inside of his arm as well soon. I think Chase is actually at the shop tattooing right now. So today's gonna be a really cool video. I'm tattooing Regan's chest and her throat. We're doing a big cross with a bunch of filigree and floral stuff. It's gonna be super pretty. She already has some peonies and stuff right here. She's got a couple little things on her chest, which I have to work around, which is all right, but it's gonna be beautiful. I got a little little heart with like a gem in the middle. It's very floral. It's very super, super flowy, super elegant. It's gonna look great forever. I'm very stoked about doing this tattoo, which is why we're making a video, right? So let's get over to the shop and see what we got going on. Of the Dodge Boys. Oh wow, nice. My truck. This is my brother's truck. Toy. It is beautiful out here in South Florida. Welcome to my tattoo shop, Sunshine State Tattoo, Deerfield Beach, Florida. I love this freaking place. Oh, that's funny, boy. This little geo back of the leg piece that's gonna be real fancy like yeah Super toy this is my brother chase what's up guys chase Nolan tattoos make sure you go follow him on instagram check his workout because he is a badass just got back from baltimore you got a whole bunch of awards in baltimore didn't you i did a whole bunch look at this look at all these babies right here man well these are old but I know, right. kill it! The new one's from this weekend. Hell yeah, dude. Killing it. 
I started drawing this last night, spent several hours. That's what people don't understand about this, is not only do we spend hours tattooing you guys all day, but before we tattoo you, we spend hours drawing. It's super fun, we have zero lives. We come here, tattoo all day, go home, draw all night, repeat. So today, so you can see this is what we're doing. So now this is just pretty much the basic layout of how I want her tattoo to sit. So what I do, this is this program on my iPad is called Procreate, is what I use to draw pretty much all of my stuff, unless I'm marketing it onto someone. So this program allows you to upload different reference pictures on the side. You can take a picture of your client, like I did here. Regan sent me a picture of this. So I was able to use the picture that she sent to just draw it directly onto her so that way I could see exactly how the layout is gonna be. So like I said before, this is like the cross and all this filigree stuff that's gonna go on her throat. These are her existing pieces right here which we're gonna work around and then we're gonna try to center it up with it looks like she has like a little dagger or something right here in the center. So I'm gonna finish drawing this up right now. All this is is guidelines. This is pretty much my like foundation of the tattoo so from here i'm going to go in with a pencil as i started doing up here now you see how some of this is more refined line work so i'm going to go through the rest of it finish outlining everything make my stencil and by the time i'm done doing that she will be here we'll get the stencil on her and get to tattooing and we got a long day ahead of us so i'm going to get to finish drawing this all right so almost done with this outline right here so see how before i have my sketch my basic layout, what I did with her picture on there. Mapped it all out, sketched it all out. Then the final thing is, see how I'm going in with my fine line right here. That way I can make the stencil exactly how I want it, like this. So, that is pretty much the final outline right here. And then I can go in here on this program, Procreate. Turn off that. Could turn off her piece. I could turn off my reference pieces like that. And then you're pretty much stuck with that's the outline of the tattoo. See how that works? Pretty freaking cool. So then what I do is I gotta print this out and then we're gonna put this on her when she gets here. Let's go check out what my brother's doing real quick. What's going over here, guy? I'm good. Get the outline on there. Just got the outline done, doing all my solid black. Get there. Just packing that black. I gotta go set up all my stuff in. So for today's tattoo, we're gonna be setting up some Dan Cubans. So I like to use my V2 for my tight three lines. We're gonna be using this little COVID machine that I got. 420 right when COVID happens, says COVID-19 on the bottom. This is Dan, a Dan Cuban Sidewinder. These things are freaking awesome. I'm gonna use that for my tight seven today. And then this one, this Cuban right here, this is the one I like to use for my fat line work. And I'm gonna explain why I like to use these for line work here in just a second. All right, so today, like I said, we're outlining this thing. This tattoo has a lot of line work. So the reason being why I like to use these machines is they hit really hard and they tattoo very fast. So these are faster running. It's still a rotary machine, but they have an armature bar. An armature bar is this little bar up top that goes up and down. This is what pushes the needle, okay? So on a coil machine, okay, this is a coil machine. These two coils, opposite polarities, make this armature bar go up and down, which makes the needle, obviously, move. So. These just hit a lot harder than these rotary pens. These rotary pens are awesome, but just I've come to notice that me lining with these and using cartridges, the cartridges don't hold ink as much. I feel like this machine doesn't hit as hard as I really want it to, so it really slows me down when I do my line work. I love this machine to death, but I like to use it better for shading. And if I do line with it, I make sure it's like a little bit smaller tattoos. Today, I'm doing a whole mess of line work on this girl's chest. So we are going to line it with some hard hitting machines. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna get everything all set up. Everything we use here is disposable. All my tubes and needles I get from Kingpin Tattoo Supply based out of right here in Tampa, Florida, just on the other coast of us. All my buddies over there work there. I've been, I've been sponsored by Kingpin for 10 years plus now. So they are great dudes over there. They always hook it up. 
So let's get these set up. I'm gonna get your needle in there nice and good. Put that there like so. Bada bing, bada boom. Throw a little grommet on there. See how I'm doing this? Boom. Throw a rubber band on there. Keep the needle in place so it doesn't all wiggle around. And then boom, that is how you properly set up one of these Dan Cuban machines. Pretty sick. Now, let's get the rest all set up. All right, last machine to set up. And we are good to go. Next thing, wait for you gonna get here and then we're gonna put this on here and hopefully it's not an absolute nightmare. Putting stencils on like what I'm doing today, anything that's perfectly symmetrical that's going on a throat and a chest around other tattoos is always a royal pain in the butt, you know best. I don't wanna hear it. Yeah, he, yeah, Chase always. Like Chase does, everything Chase does is very symmetrical, geometrical, it's all perfectly placed. Dude, I'll watch Chase put a stencil on 15 times. So, you, watch, you watch me send my friends. Yeah, I watch exactly. Yeah, Chase will just send people home. Chase will, Chase will spend two hours trying to get a stencil onto someone and then just be like, all right, let's, let's, let's just readdress this another day when we're both fresh. You know what I mean? What's up, Pepe? Hey, you Just doing some, uh, doing some things over there? Yeah, Going to help with this video yes, today? Yes, sir. All right, so we're all set up. Next, we just got to wait for her to get here and then let's get this stencil on. All right, so to make a stencil like this, obviously it's bigger than a sheet of paper. So what we gotta do is take two sheets, put it on two separate pieces, and then we make the stencil. Now, for those of you wondering how we make stencils, it's like this. This is called a Thermofax. This uses heat, it heats up this paper. This is a thermal piece of paper, and then it transfers this image from the paper onto this piece. So that way it's purple like this. And then this is what we use to put on the skin, puts the stencil transfer right on them. And that's how we do the tattoo. Just so you guys don't know. So check this out. Just goes in like that. Heat turns on. And then you get the stencil coming right out the other side. So now we gotta go put this together, place it on her, and get going. Alright, so let me show you what I got going on. So that is the first deal. It's dope. Cool, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously you have all this shit right here. Yeah. So this is gonna fit in the middle and probably go like right up to where your chin is. Mm -hmm. This will go behind all these existing stuff. Obviously I'm not tattooing over this old stuff. I'm pretty yeah, much just gonna go under. right up to it and mm -hmm. then fade out from that. And then I'll book you another appointment today, and then the chair we could do on the other side, and then we can even, because you have this whole area um, tattooed already, so we can even add more stuff over here yeah. in the future. But this today is the goal. Yeah, dude, if you could sit through this start to finish today, I would be super stoked. I'm cool? going to. Hell yeah. All right, so mm -hmm. let's print this out, get that sized on you, and go from there. Got all the solid black done. Now I'm just putting in some dots. Give it that 3D look. Do this mandala, and then I'm gonna go and do some black shading off of this inner part so it looks sunken in. It's gonna be tight. So have you ever had another dude shave your chest before? Mm, no, I don't think so. Who did all this stuff? Uh, I got it in Indiana. Indiana? Mm-hmm. How old is it? Um, about three years. But my arm, uh, Frank Luca, did those. Oh, Frank? Yeah, that's how I heard about you. Oh, wow, dude, I love yeah. Frank. What's up, bro? I know Frank watches. I love Frank. Yeah, Frank was just here the other day. Yeah. He came He's to awesome. see. He's awesome. He did came to my see back you. recently. Nice. Over at Vatican and Delray? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, dude, Frank is awesome. He's a good dude. All right, so we're just getting this all prepped up nice and shaved, because even that little peach fuzz, if you tattoo that peach fuzz into the skin, that's when you get all those little ingrown hairs and all those little white dots you see on tattoos. Makes it super uncomfortable to heal, makes it heal a little longer. So you wanna get all that shit off there. And then you gotta clean the area, of course. Hopefully we get this on there the first try. It's a good area, it's like kinda like, you don't have too many like curvies, you know what I mean? So hopefully we should just be able to 
Stick that bitch right on there. Call it a day. So I put, I used, it's called Anchored. It's by Nico Hurtado. That's what I like to use to put my stencils on with. Keeps it on there real Nash. I used to use this stuff called Stencil Stuff. I know his name is great. But Stencil Stuff is kind of whatever. This stuff really keeps it on there. Especially for tattoos like this. It's super important. That's very intricate tattoo. So it's very important that the stencil stays on the whole time. And I don't lose a bunch of it. Especially with something symmetrical. Even though this one isn't going to be so symmetrical. Because we have so much stuff over here. So it's really not like... This side's gonna have more to it than this, you know what I mean? So it's not extremely important, but it still is. You wanna keep that stencil the whole freaking time. So now that I got this on there pretty good. Oh God, I'm nervous. Hopefully I'll get this on there right. Let's see here. So you gotta stay just like that. Maybe put your head up a tiny little bit now. So let's go. I hate my life. It's almost perfect. Alright, first try. <laughs> Fuck that stupid part right there, you son of a Go back in, bro, you got it. No, I'm just gonna draw that shit right on there, dude. It's what, two little lines in that little, that little divot right there? That's totally fine. This is the main part right here. See how it's nice and even with her chin? That's good. All this stuff right here. Oh yeah, it's pretty much there. That's nice and center. Dude, that's good enough, man. Yeah, all these other, these tiny little lines right here, I can just draw them in with a marker. Perfect. Mm, okay, perfect. Yeah, this is a good spot. And then once we get to this throat area, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna probably pull the pillow back a little bit and have you like hang your mm -hmm. hang your neck off the back of the pillow so I can like get all up in here. Yeah. Sweet! All right, Reagan, are you freaking ready? Yep. Oh man, all right, I'm ready too. Let's get her started. Super cool. So this thing's gonna have a bunch of different line weights, so. Like all these little dainty things are gonna be outlined really lightly. All these other filigree pieces are gonna be nice and thick. These are gonna be thick. The cross will be thick. Everything is gonna be a little small around it. It's gonna look freaking tight. We got, we got all freaking day. I'm trying to do this start to finish today too. I know you said you yesterday you wanted to do it. Start yep. to finish. So I mean, and it's black and gray. I tattooed black and gray pretty fast, so hopefully we should be able to get this done all today. We're gonna. Especially for the sake of the video. I want to do it start to finish. So let's get cracking. That is the line work. 
Woo, that was serious. Freaking serious, dude, but it is really clean. Now the shading will help bring out a lot of different elements and stuff and make certain things stand out. I'm gonna do like a nice dark background, like that one reference that you sent me with all the black behind it. Mm -hmm. Make it nice and dark and then make all the other shit really light. Cool, let's take a little fiber and then we'll get shading it. So now we are on to shading, and I switched machines. I'm no longer using those Cubans, the Dan Cubans. Now I'm using an FKXO. Um, this thing is pretty freaking sweet, wireless, got the battery pack up top. We're actually bringing these machines to Mexico uh, next week when we do all those dive videos, and we're going to do some like hotel tats or like tattoo each other on the beach or something cool like that, maybe on a boat, I don't know, but we're going to bring these machines with us. It's going to be pretty sweet. But now we are shading. I like to use this machine for shading um, just because it's like it's super smooth. It's obviously wireless, so I can like get all the way over here. I don't have to worry about a cord or anything like that. You know, it's pretty versatile and it's awesome. And I'm using cartridges with it too, so I can just easily take the cartridges out, switch the needles super fast. It saves a lot of time. So we still got hours to go though. So I'll see y'all in just a bit. Golf man, yeah. hands up, toes down, legs up, toes down, what you drop me? Oh, hey there, Pepe. Hey. How you doing? You're back, bro. I made it. Thanks for uh, coming back, dude. I was here by, we are just here by ourselves, man. It took me a while, but you're back. We made it back. Dude, we're going on seven hours right now. How you doing? Getting pretty good. Yeah, you're good? Yeah. You're not dying? Nope. One to ten, how was this so far? Like a four. Four? Yeah. It's not bad at all. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, you're killing it. So yeah, we're still getting this background done on this side. I already started doing some of the foreground stuff on the filigree here. I'm trying to pretty much block out the rest of this background on here and then kind of just like even out the shading and get it mostly done for today. But like I said, we're going on seven hours right now, so we're probably gonna wrap this thing up in the next hour. So in that next hour, hopefully I could just crush all this out right here. And then we're gonna get her back in there, hopefully again before the year's over. I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna, we're gonna do something about it. So just gotta keep on trucking. Alright, we're still going. Eight hours. Get it. Reagan's killing it. Killing it! Better her than me, man. I'm such a baby when I get tattooed. I'm like the biggest sissy in the world, especially like because I get tattooed by my friends. And so then I'm even more of a baby because I get tattooed by my homies, so I like feel like I have an excuse to just be a bitch the whole time. You know what I mean? Take a million breaks. I'm just annoying the whole time, complaining about it. It's great. Getting tattooed by Randy in like a month. So maybe I'll make a video about that because that'll be hilarious. Woo! Look at that shit. How's it feel? Is it raw? Mm-hmm. Oof. I bet. It looks really good though. So yeah, so the next time you come in, I'm going to get you in by the end of the year. See how this heals. Mm -hmm. I told you like a lot of this background stuff is going to lighten up a lot. It's a dark gray wash and then there's only like a little bit of black on the insides. So I'm going to see how that all heals. And then we're going to go back in on all these little flourishes right here. And do like nice little light shades, shade the jewel. I'm going to slam a shitload of white all over it too. So it's going to look fucking awesome. 
Oh, hello. Oh, I know. You miss me all day, I know. I know you miss me all day. I know you're tattooing all day. You ready to go home and see the cats and go crazy? Oh, yes, I know you are. Oh, holy crap, guys. That was a freaking day and a half. Yeah, that was a long, that was a long one today. Hell yeah, bro. Well, that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That girl sat like a champ. We're going to finish it up here. I think her uh, next appointment is February. Or no, no, it's February is the other side. Um, November something. Oh, yeah, the day before Thanksgiving, actually. I'm finishing that tattoo. So we'll make another video in the future here, finishing that one up. Super dope. She sat like a champ. Yeah. Thanks for helping Killed out it. today. Of course. Killed it. Guys, shop merch. TylerNolanTattoos.com. Go check that out. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, TylerNolanTattoos. Follow Pepe, Duff Does Nature Stuff, and the shop, Sunshine State Tattoo. Check out all the artists that we have here. Everybody is awesome. I'm booking. You guys want to hit me up to get tattooed? Um, my email is at the end of this video, TylerNolanBooking at gmail.com. Right now, currently, I am booking for July of next year. So hit me up if you guys are interested. I'm only doing large-scale big pieces, um, things that I'm going to make videos on. So if you guys want to be in a video, hit me up. You got a cool idea? Send it over. Book an appointment. We'll make some dope videos here at the shop. Mm -hmm. Richard? Richard, you're so cute. Richard says bye. Thanks for watching us today, guys. You guys did great. We love you guys. If it wasn't for you guys. We would be living pretty boring lives, right? You're darn right. But no, we don't. Very fortunate. Yes, so, sir. thanks, guys. Y'all are the best. Till next time. Bye bye. Time.